I've been working on the railroad. One song long. Oh, yes. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Nice. Can't you hear the whistle blow? It took many people working on the railroad to lay out track all the way to the Pacific Ocean. When it was done in 1869, everything changed. The two great railroads, the Union Pacific and the Southern Pacific, joined to link both coasts. The Golden Spike was driven in. So the world would know that you could ride the train from Boston. Sacramento. Yes, travel from coast to coast took only days now, and soon other transcontinental railroads were built. But in southern Oregon, there was a wide gap filled only by bone-jarring stagecoach rides. Just like the Central Pacific, the Oregon and California Railroad turned to workers from China. The Oregon and California Railroad known as the ONC, completed most of the track from Portland south to California, but Southern Pacific took over the line when ONC ran out of money. In Southern Oregon's Jackson County, it was assumed the rails would run through the county seat, Jacksonville. Instead, four landowners near Bear Creek donated their land for a depot, and the tracks were laid there. The economic boom for Medford was immediate and substantial. The city grew quickly, and the railway station became the bustling heart of town. Southern Pacific carried passengers between San Francisco and Portland, right through Medford. The Siskiyou Line, with many tunnels and steep grades, made the trip challenging for train crews. Yet the line continued, carrying passengers between San Francisco and Portland for many years, passing through Ashland, Medford, and Central Point. The depot at Medford still stands today. This is downtown Medford. We're in the, the middle of uh, what used to be the whole nerve center of this town because behind me is the old train station. Southern Pacific's main route from Portland down to San Francisco used to run right through Medford. And for years, this train station that you see behind me uh, was used by Southern Pacific. This is in a sense the heart or the birthplace of Medford. Medford owes its existence to the railroad. Uh, when the railroad decided to come down the middle of the Rogue Valley in this area, the Bear Creek Valley I should say, they uh, bypassed Jacksonville, the county seat, and built the railroad right through what is now Medford. So if you look behind me, you see the train station. Well, that was, you could say, the birthplace because that's where Medford started. It was a railroad town. Now, it's no longer used by Southern Pacific, nor is the rail line going through here. But the building has been wonderfully refurbished and is now a restaurant. Southern Pacific's main line ran through Medford until 1927, when it constructed a new line through the Willamette Pass. Yet it continued to serve Medford and the rest of the Rogue Valley, hauling freight. Other railroads sprung up in southern Oregon, some of them hauling logs and other natural resources, and some hauling passengers to Jacksonville. Some were bought by the Great Northern Railroad. All of them ran steam engines until well into the 20th century. Southern Pacific kept its presence in Medford, and southern Oregon for that matter, into the 1980s. Southern Pacific was a fierce competitor in Oregon, California, the Southwest, and into Louisiana. Its workers formed a solid union. Here's the Southern Pacific caboose. This is where the train's conductor and the rear brakeman rode. This restored caboose in Medford Railroad Park has a cooking stove and an elevated cupola. From up here, the conductor could see the whole train. 
On a curve, and there were plenty of curves in Oregon, the conductor could signal the engineer. Medford did not get to see the Shasta Daylight, a high prestige streamliner. It used the Cascades route and never passed through Medford. Southern Pacific sold the Siskiyou line and today a regional railroad struggles to serve Southern Oregon shippers. Repairs on a tunnel in the Siskiyou Mountains should allow them to improve service soon. The best place to learn about Medford's railroad history is at Medford's Railroad Park. This indoor model railroad is faithfully built to show the regional railroads in 1989 in Southern Oregon. In my brief visit, I learned that Medford was served by a railroad that ran deep into the mountains. It was the Pacific Eastern. Due to space limitations, some model railroad license was used, but model railroaders go to great lengths to have an accurate layout. If you're in the Medford area and have an interest in railroad history, this layout is open to the public twice a month from spring through fall. The Medford Railroad Park also has a museum, some restored train cars you can tour, and an outside model course that includes a Mesa Verde site. The real Anasazi ruins are a long, long way from Medford, but you can still learn a lot of local railroad history here. Oh, and those Sundays when they're open to the public? Admission is free. And while you're here, you might as well take a ride with Southern Oregon Live Steamers. You don't have to think too much about history. This ride is for fun.